of Jacob's trouble, September 21. As Satan influenced Esau to march against Jacob, so he will stir up the wicked to destroy God's people. Uh, he will do this in the time of trouble. As he accused Jacob, he will also urge his accusations against God's people. The Bible is quite clear in the book of Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 7. Uh, this is what the Bible says. It says, At last, uh, for that day is great, uh, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. As Satan accuses the people of God uh, on account of the sins that they would have committed in their lives, uh, the Lord permits him to try them uh, to the uttermost. Uh, our confidence in God and our faith uh, in God should remain firm. Uh, our faith, we should understand, will be severely tried and severely tested. Uh, understand this morning that as we review our past, uh, our hopes will sink uh, during that time. Uh, for in our whole lives, we can see little good. Uh, we will be fully conscious of our weakness and our unworthiness. Uh, Satan will endeavor uh, to terrify us and uh, without a doubt he will try to destroy us. Uh, but the Bible tells us uh, that we will be saved out of it for God will have his hedge of protection around his children. Now you may ask or you may be wondering if Satan will be correct in his accusation against God's people. Uh, understand that I want to plainly let you know that he will not uh, be correct. Uh, understand today uh, that we will have the faith in the promises of God's word. Yes, uh, uh, we would have done things in the past, but at this time, all of God's children's sins would have been confessed. Uh, God's children will hold on to the promise in 1 John 1, 9. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us from our sins and cleanse us from all of unrighteousness. So God's people will be well protected and well secured during the time of Jacob's trouble. Why not let us trust God's word today? Let us ask God for that faith uh, so that we will be able to stand then uh, and also stand now. Uh, let's pray. Father in heaven, we thank you so much uh, for your promise in your word, your promise of protection. We pray that you will grant us that faith so that we can be able to stand then and even now. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Remember, the power of the word every day will keep the enemy at bay.